Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Trinity Resting and yes, Resting is my real surname. And it goes a little yeah. something like This channel. No, no. So we're here with an updated makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get my basically everyday glam type of look. This is the kind of look I do when I'm going out to meet friends, going out for drinks, for dinner. You know, it's kind of basic but still a little bit soft, glammy. You know, glossy lips, lashes. You know, all the all the vibes but yeah i won't be doing too much talking in this intro because i do be talking a lot but i will be linking everything that i use in this video down below so don't worry everything is there i got you i got you okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video let's get straight into it hey girls so moving is straight into my base routine so as you can probably tell i've already done my eyebrows off camera i find it absolutely impossible to do my eyebrows on camera like I have tried but it's literally they never come out the way that I want them to so if you guys want an updated little eyebrow tutorial just let me know in the comment section below and I can film that for you guys because I think the last time I filmed an eyebrow tutorial was quite a while ago I think it was like in 2020 so I've definitely changed up the routine right now so yeah this is where we're starting today so moving on to the base so I'm just gonna go ahead and start priming my face um, if you guys want to know about all the products that I'm using in this video, I will be linking them down below. Um, I've also created like a little like to know it. I don't know if you guys know about the like to know it app, but it's an app where I'll be posting all the products that I use. I'll be posting them all there so you guys can find them really easily. So yeah, the link will be down below for that. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I did ask you guys um, on my Instagram to ask me a bunch of questions that you would like to know about or topics that you want me to discuss during this little get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a while so it feels a bit weird like I feel like I need to get into the gist of it again. I kind of feel like I don't know what to do anymore. But guys, one thing, I've been watching Monet, like if you guys watch Monet, Monet McMichael, Monet McMichael. She is literally one of the people that inspire me to continue with my content creation and with my YouTube. And she also helped me like get back into filming videos because, oh, wait, wait, guys, actually like I haven't had a formal sit down with you guys like in a long time. Like first of all, first of all, we hit 10k, like, huh? So thank you guys, like thank you. I'm planning to do a giveaway though, so don't think that I forgot about you guys. You guys are the reason that I'm here in the first place. So I'm planning to do a giveaway for you guys. It's not gonna be a big one, um, just because it's my first time doing a giveaway. So I'm also just like trying to see how things work in terms of shipping and everything. But I am planning to do a giveaway for you guys. Okay, anyway, let's get back into the makeup routine so as I was saying um, I did put like a little question pop a question pop a topic on my Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram I don't know what to tell you anyway <laughs> um, so yeah you guys did give me a bunch of topics some questions to chat about during this little get ready with me y'all were y'all were a little bit bold y'all were a little bit bold a little bit bold in these questions so, first question here is, where's the husband? Let me just, I mean, yeah. Guys, so the husband, the husband is coming. Guys, the husband is on his way. I feel, you know, speak it into existence. He's not, he's not here yet, but I can feel that he's on his way. He's coming. Um you know okay that's where i'm gonna leave it okay oh my god i look crazy i look like i snow cocaine <gasps> let me move on oh my god next question love island casting should be 21 and above mm, that's a good one that is actually a good one i'm using two shades for my foundation just to try and get like my perfect match because i can never find my perfect match on um like in one bottle 
Anyway, yeah, I feel this season of Love Island. I don't know if you guys keep up with Love Island. If you do, please like comment down below like your favorite, your favorite character, <laughs> your favorite. What do they call them? Like, cause they're not characters. Like, they're people. Okay, comment down below your favorite person in Love Island. Okay. Um, because I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan. I watch every single episode every night. Like that's where you're gonna catch me. Love Island. Okay, so yeah, if you guys are like keeping up this season, then you would know that there's a girl who's 19 and she has been, you know, raising some questions. I know Twitter kind of went crazy about that. The fact that she's 19. Usually you wouldn't find anyone below like, I feel like 21 maybe. Maybe they've had someone 20 years old before, but yeah, being 19 was kind of a shock to everybody. And um, throughout the season, I feel like she's been getting a little bit of backlash. I don't know why. Like at the beginning, okay, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. At the beginning, I was kind of just like, mm, girl, you're a little bit immature. Like, what are you doing on this show? Like, this is Love Island, like you're 19. Anyway. But I've kind of grown to like her at this point and I feel like she is actually a bit more mature than other people on the island but I'm not gonna go ahead and mention names of other people Oh, my foundation looks so yellow on camera but I promise guys, it looks normal in person She did cause a bit of, a bit of skepticism, if that's a word, at the beginning of this season just because of some of the things that she's done, the way that she's acted but honestly, I feel like as long as you're 18 and above, then you should be allowed to be casted onto the show. Um, Cause honestly, like right now, she's been giving us a lot of drama and I'm here for drama. I watch the show for drama. So she has been giving us a bit of drama and I like that. So honestly, I don't feel any certain type of way about her like i don't mind the fact that she's the youngest on the show like at this point i kind of forgot that she was even 19 because some other people like i mentioned have been acting a little bit more immature than she has so you know i'm not really faced by it so i would say to that question i would say no i don't think that it has to be over 21 i don't think it makes much of a difference i feel like as long as you're 18 and above then you're good you know uh okay next topic wrong assumptions about europe so hmm, this is kind of interesting because some of you guys may know again if you're following me on instagram the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't so if you guys have been following me following me following me on instagram then you would know that i was home for a couple of months i think i was home for like three months or something for the first time in almost two years i think it had been like a year and a half since i had been home so it was definitely interesting to see like my family members again you know my aunts and uncles they had loads of questions about like me being in europe and being in france and there were also a lot of assumptions that were kind of thrown in there with their questions it was like a little bit of you know a little bit of shade sometimes and um i don't know especially for france where i am everyone seems to have this assumption that the people like french people are rude or obnoxious or you know they're just not very friendly people and honestly since i've been here i haven't really experienced that at all like at all and i don't know if that's just because of like where i am in france like i'm more in the south you know it's a student city it's filled with international students as well so it's not like i have not experienced any type of like specific unfriendliness or something that i would be able to say like damn french people are really hard to get along with because that has not been the case for me at all. The French friends that I have made, they were really easy to make from the beginning. For me, the only thing that I found difficult when I first arrived was because I didn't speak fluent French, it did become a little bit difficult for me to be friends with French speakers. Um, just because, you know, it's harder to communicate and obviously, you know, it's harder to keep up with the conversation and everything like that. But in terms of being friendly or unfriendly, like they'll kind of just let you know upfront, like I don't speak English. So 
Um, but yeah, um, in terms of assumptions, yeah, that was kind of the only one that I received that French people are very unwelcoming and unfriendly, um, which I'm saying is not true from my experience. Um, but maybe it's different for other people. I have heard other people say otherwise, but I'm just speaking on my own experience. So yeah, that's what I think. Um, I haven't really heard any other assumptions about Europe exactly there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the next topic is, was it difficult mentally moving to France and being away from my family? The short answer is yes, it was. So yeah, I would definitely say yes, it was um, it was extremely difficult moving to France, especially because when I moved, it was in the peak of the pandemic. Um, I think I did tell you guys this before, but yeah, I moved in September. I think I moved in September 2020, like everything was in lockdown. But at the same time, I had been home for over nine months. I think like it was a long ass time that I was home and I was kind of sick and tired of being home and I was kind of like I'm trying to go I'm trying to move overseas like I'm t I was kind of tired of staying around my family constantly also because I mentioned this before but I was in boarding school for five years so being home for so long constantly being surrounded by my family was honestly very different and it was kind of annoying me <laughs> if i'm being honest it was kind of annoying me just because i was used to being alone and used to being independent type of thing so yeah when i moved to france you know my parents couldn't come with me the original plan was for them to come with me to france and you know help me move into my apartment and like see where I'm going to school and like you know get used to the city but because of restrictions they were not able to like fly anywhere they weren't allowed to leave the country um, I think the only reason I was allowed to leave was because of study purposes which meant that I had to come here and do everything by myself and kind of find my way on my own um, so that was the first difficulty but anyway after finally moving here I had issues with um, like my apartment I couldn't find an apartment to live and I was kind of living in between hotels for a long time in between Airbnbs and then I got COVID and that was extremely difficult to deal with you know being by myself I had no family here I hadn't made any friends yet so it was like Woo! it was a lot even just thinking about it like it kind of kind of traumatized me I'm not gonna lie there was a point where I wanted to go home like there was a point where I was just like maybe I should just go home wait for the pandemic to be over and then I can come back because also being here in the pandemic I wasn't able to go onto campus which meant that I couldn't really meet people I couldn't go out you know to the city and get drinks with anyone or like grab a bite or anything like that um basically i didn't really have any friends i had met a few people like during my classes on zoom and stuff but if you were an online student you know that those zoom meetings like making friends it's mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so yeah i wasn't really making friends like friends friends i would say like i had some acquaintances but in terms of real friendships no i didn't have any and i probably didn't have any real friends for the first year that i was here if i'm being quite honest um so yeah that was quite difficult um obviously when my parents would ask me like how are things going i didn't want to worry them so i'd always say like oh yeah i'm fine but I feel like they did know that things were not going good. But yeah, it was it was extremely mentally tough on me. I think it definitely tested it definitely tested me like in all the ways possible and including, you know, me moving to a country that speaks a language I have never spoken before. That was quite that was interesting. Cause like I had taken French in high school before, but it was it's literally it was nothing like how they actually speak here. Obviously, in school they teach you very like formal 
French, they teach you all the grammar, which is good, like it's good to know like the basis and the fundamentals and stuff. But we were never really taught how to actually hold a conversation with teenagers, hello, like on a day-to-day -day basis because girl, I got here and I was like, huh, like what? Like I thought I understood a little bit of French but mm, no, nothing. I was so confused and then that just gave me a bit more anxiety because I was like, okay, I guess we're gonna have to learn French from scratch. Like we're gonna have to do this from the beginning. So yeah, it was definitely tough. But after, I feel like after the first year, everything was just bliss. It was just blissful. Like now living here, I absolutely love it. Like. I love it here. I couldn't wait to come back. I was like, yeah, then you back. So yeah, now that I've been here a while and I'm kind of used to how everything works and I'm used to being away from my family for long periods of time, I can definitely say that I absolutely love it here. Like I would not have lived anywhere else, I think. Um, I definitely think that France was the right choice for me. Um, I just haven't, like, I haven't found a reason to not like it here. I mean, obviously, besides being apart from my family, but I can always go back and visit. But, like, it's just different. I just feel like while I'm here, I'm able to live the life that I want, that I've, like, always wanted to live. That sounds so, like, inspirational. But honestly, I feel like while I've been here, I've been able to live the life that I've always wanted and being independent the way I've always wanted to be so yeah I absolutely love it here honestly right now no complaints we don't have any restrictions anymore so I'm just living life I am enjoying myself but yeah next topic that was a long one sorry guys y'all know I can talk I can talk anyway next question is spirituality that's interesting um I wish you had been a little bit more specific with your question because I don't know I don't know what exactly you wanna you want me to cover but I'll just I guess I'll just give my my opinion on spirituality because I feel like maybe that's what you want to know Ooh, what is that I would say that lately spirituality has been more I don't want to say popular but more people have been getting into it you know what I mean like maybe more people are finding are like coming across it and finding that this is the type of thing for me but i've been seeing more and more people these days going into spirituality and personally if you guys know me you know i'm christian but um i think what you meant by spirituality is like basically the people that really believe in the universe and they believe that what you put into the universe is what you get out of it type of thing so i feel like um lately i've been seeing more and more people get into it um which is great i feel like but i don't know if it's just that because tiktok is a big thing nowadays um i'm now learning that a lot of people actually are into spirituality whereas before when TikTok wasn't really a thing, I wasn't really aware that people really were into spirituality like that. But like now, like for me, every second person is into it or believes in it or, you know. So I don't know what to think. I, I don't think I can really give an opinion on it. You know what I mean? Because um, I don't, firstly, I don't know enough about it to be able to give my own opinion. And also, like you know if that's your thing that's your thing i don't know what else to say you know what i mean like i can't be like oh no spirituality is so like overrated or it's so like blah 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 because it's what you believe in and there's a reason that you believe in it the same way i believe in something else or you believe in something else like that's just that's just how it goes but anyway the next question is would i get tattoos and if so which ones and why so actually guys while i was home wait let me move on to the next step of my makeup so actually while i was home 
um, this these past couple of months my mom and I well we had been talking about it for a long time like we wanted to get tattoos but while I was home we decided one day to just do it so we got matching tattoos I don't know if you guys can see this is what we got I do kind of need a touch up though after it was healing it kind of faded a little bit but yeah this is the matching tattoo that we got yeah it was kind of like I mean we had the idea before but like doing it it was really just random and out of the blue we were at an event and at the event they had like a tattoo stall set up thing so we just walked there and we were like yo should we do it like should we do it right now and yeah that's exactly what we did we got the tattoos on that day i'll try and find the video like i have a little video that i took when we were getting our tattoos so i'll try and like find it so i can show you guys yeah why did i get this specific tattoo um basically we love elephants the idea behind it was kind of um the relationship that like i love how i'm having a whole conversation about elephants but the relationship that like the mom elephant has with the you know what's the baby elephant called a calf a calf is it called a calf I don't know but basically the relationship that the mom elephant has with the baby elephant when it's first born like that type of bond like the mama elephant will not leave her baby once you have that baby like that's your baby so that's the kind of relationship that elephants have and my mom and I are kind of the same <laughs> but yeah my mom is like my best friend mom if you're watching this you're my best friend anyway um do i want more tattoos though absolutely i don't know of what i don't know where but i do want more another topic mm. do you speak swati if yes please speak a sentence okay wait before i answer that let me move on to the next step in my makeup i feel like i've been talking so much like i keep forgetting that i'm meant to be doing my makeup anyway um so do i speak swati yes i do speak swati okay so i don't know what you want me to say you should have given me a little sentence to say but anyway um what can i say what can i say so i'm learning guys i'm in trinity so now we just film a youtube video a makeup tutorial for my followers and me um yeah i don't know what else to say i told you guys my sentence construction is shocking it is shocking to say the least but yeah i try guys i taught myself how to speak it okay so it's not the best but i definitely understand it like i understand everything 100 percent well i would say 98 percent. i understand everything obviously speaking is a different story like i definitely can't write it i can partially read it if i try really hard but yeah um do i speak it no not often um, I can if I really have to like if it's a life or death situation I can try my hardest okay so next topic what are my majors in university um we don't really have majors in France I don't think especially in like your first two years we don't have a major but I'll tell you guys what I'm studying um, I think I have mentioned it before but in case you're new here I do have a lot of new people so welcome so I'm studying business management um, I'm going into my third year in September and we don't really have majors for the first two years I would say but for the third year we do pick like I would say a major we pick like a speciality so I am going to be doing international business as my kind of speciality if you would say or my major so yeah that answers that question next topic how do we survive high school <gasps> wow high school was quite the roller coaster if i do say so myself like it was the best and the worst time of my life literally that is the only way i can explain it. but i would say find your people like the only thing that i found really got me through the hard times in high school were my friends and the relationship that i had with them without them i would be the pits child i would be the absolute piss i swear like 
those people are gonna be with you through thick and thin like find your people find your group don't try too hard to fit in also like i feel like high school is very much it's very much a time in your life where you're trying to find out like find yourself basically or find out who you are as a person or really you know finding your own personality so i would say don't try too hard to fit in like just be your own person if certain people don't vibe with you or don't like you because of the person that you are or your personality or whatever that's fine next you know like honestly do not try too hard to fit in and don't try to be don't try to pretend to be someone that you are not because you will honestly lose yourself and it's gonna cause you a lot of unnecessary stress and anxiety also find a balance between academics and non-academics i know in high school there's a lot of sports that you play a lot of extracurricular activities i kept myself busy with those um you know it was fun especially team sports or if you're not a sports person you know find something that you like to do just so you can you know you're not always just academics academics i mean unless academics is your thing then that's your thing but i would definitely say find a balance between academics and you know other fun stuff um okay next question can i speak french i'm trying guys honestly i'm trying french is a very hard language to learn but honestly i found that being around french people or french speakers was the quickest way for me to learn i am still learning i am absolutely not fluent yet yet but i'm working on it i definitely i can get around you know if i'm by myself in the city i can definitely get myself around speak to people without really having many issues so yeah i would say i can speak french like to a level of survival absolutely i can but in terms of fluency not yet but i'm definitely working on it i do want to become fluent in the near future but yeah okay so i'm almost done with my makeup but last question my battery is dying right now guys so i really hope that i can get through this look like finish my look and finish this question before the battery dies so the next question is a juicy one this girl said your love life period she did not put anything else she was just like your love life like we want that as an entire topic so honestly i don't really know what to say like my love life <laughs> like what do you want to know like okay i'm gonna give it to y'all straight like i'm gonna just say i will let you guys know when there is something like stable and like serious you know but you know for now i've kind of just been dating here and there i am kind of having fun with this one particular person at the moment um he is i mean he knows who he is i'm not gonna drop names or anything like that i do want to keep it kind of private but you guys are my girls so i kind of want to keep you in the loop too you know um so yeah wait let me finish this lip liner because i can't talk and do this at the same time okay lips are lined it makes such a big difference when my lips are lined i swear um but yeah i can't find my lip gloss <sighs> okay so it's like an hour later um my camera died and the sun is basically setting right now so the lighting might have changed a lot i'm sorry again again i'm sorry but um i just finished off my lips you guys last saw me i think lining my lips i just used a brown lip liner and some clear gloss to top it off honestly lips make such a difference with a makeup look like before i was kind of looking a little bit like a pancake like i was looking very flat kind of mm. but now that my lips are done it's giving mm. juicy okay so okay i'm just gonna put some glue on my lashes right now so basically i'm just gonna say that my love life is currently not completely dead like there is something going on right now obviously like i said i'm not dropping no names mm -mm -mm. I won't drop names but i will say um there's something going on you know taking it at my own pace you know it's vibing it's good but yeah i'll let you guys know like if something happens i will let you know next question <laughs> oh 
Ooh, here's a good one. Okay. How does someone become more private without seeming distant from their true friends? Ooh, this is tea. And guys, mm, while I was gone, I made myself a cup of tea. Mm -mm -mm. So we're coming to spill the tea with this juicy topic. Let me zoom you guys out a bit. I feel like you're really up close and personal. So guys, one thing I've noticed is like after the transition from high school um, to university, like when once you like you and your friends start separating like for me for example my friend group and i we were super close in in high school like those were my ride or dies and they still are for sure but like the one thing that does happen is obviously like i had quite a big ish friend group like i'd say there was like eight ten of us somewhere like that so there was never going to be a situation where we all end up in the same university obviously we all want to do different things we all want to be different places so we all ended up splitting and going to our respective universities and one thing i noticed is that the relationship that you have to have with your friends needs to be an adaptable one you need to be able you guys need to be able to all realize that times are changing and it's like way different from like high school where you know oh, I forgot I'm still doing my makeup and it's way different from like high school where it's like you guys are constantly together you're always updating each other like everyone knows what's going on in everyone's life constantly you know you guys see each other every single day multiple times a day like in every single class so like inevitably y'all are gonna be keeping up with the with each other's lives constantly like there's barely ever a time where like your girl or your guy doesn't know what's going on in your life like you guys are just always you always know what's going on whereas now like when you transition and you get older and stuff like you're not hanging out like every single day and you guys now have different schedules and everything is changing so it becomes a little bit more difficult to be in contact as often and that sometimes has an effect on the relationship but one thing that I have noticed is also coming out of high school, a lot of our personalities changed, you know, as we became more independent, obviously we learned a lot more, we grew, you know, on our own. So now some, like I've noticed that some of my friends in my friend group have become a lot more private than they were before. And me personally, I'm very understanding but with the fact that things change people change like that's the norm and the people that you have in your life your friends should understand that you shouldn't really have to sort of explain i mean obviously you can explain if they like worried like you become distant or whatever but it should be a very simple conversation and that should be fine like you guys should be able to have a mutual understanding and there should be respect with that mutually you know what i mean so yeah honestly for that question like you just do you the people that support you will support you and understand you and y'all y'all will keep pushing forward the way you normally do you'll adapt and nothing will really change but if they have a problem with it are they really your friend damn okay next question <laughs> um okay so i have a topic about feminine hygiene okay wait i gotta stick on my lashes quick wait i don't think i can talk while i do this so well should we test it should we test it okay no we shouldn't we shouldn't i'm gonna poke my eye okay let me do this let me stick on my lashes and then we'll continue with the topic we might be done with the makeup but i just want to finish this topic before we end the video off um let me unclip my hair so feminine hygiene like i was saying i've never really dedicated a video or or spoken about feminine hygiene in a video before so if you guys want a separate video for my girls on feminine hygiene i know a lot of my viewers are of different ages i have some girls who are just you know going into puberty or some girls who are in it and just want to become more you know serious or want to focus more on their hygiene or just taking care of ourselves you know i'm happy to give any of the tips that i use and you can test it on yourself like i said i am not an expert so don't take everything word for word but if you want to try go ahead and try for now i would just say like the biggest feminine hygiene tip especially now in summer is wet wipes even in winter girl wet wipes wet wipes 
I use wipes. I usually use baby wipes, but recently I've been using wipes that are like specifically made for sensitive areas, you know, that area. Just to make sure, you know, the product is pH balanced for your girl. So yeah, I would say wipes are your best friend. Like keep them in your purse so you can just wipe whenever you need to, whether you're out and about or whatever. In my little purse, I always have wet wipes. I have a bit of perfume. I have some deodorant, okay? And that's, for me, that does it for me. And obviously like a good shower routine, you know, using gentle soap, using, you know, all the good stuff. Like I said, I'll get into depth if you guys want an in-depth video on that. But yeah, um, we finished with today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Ah, uh, glowy, hello. Um, yeah, so I'll be linking all the products that I used in today's video, all my face products and everything in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was fun. The little chit chat, little catch up. If you guys liked it, like if you enjoy these little chit chat, get ready with me, then let me know. Like shoot a comment down below and then I can do more of these and we can talk. This always makes me feel like we're more connected, you know, when you guys, when we're able to really like kind of kind of directly chat i love these i love these don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of me i would love to have you guys here again please <laughs> okay i'll see you guys next time bye